You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got the Munoz boys, and you guys know what that means. We're going to show you some high-tech, crazy jujitsu, funky stuff. No, we're going to show you guys. Actually, this is wrestling and jujitsu. We are mixing. It's good for actually either sport. You can use this in wrestling. You can use it in jujitsu. It's up to you. Now, most jujitsu, when you guys learn, you usually don't learn a lot of takedowns. And when you do learn them, they're typical wrestling techniques most of the time, or, or they come from judo. So um, what we're gonna show you guys is kind of like a full mixture. It just like, it, it covers all, the whole spectrum, and it, it's a beautiful thing. So let's just show some straight up double legs at first. Um, so say we're drilling double leg takedowns. So we did this tonight with our wrestlers, but also with our jiu-jitsu guys. So examine the position. He's gonna have his head, keep your head up in there real tight and strong. And then once he's got this leg up right here, He's got good power, uh, the feet are here. I wanted to show you guys something first. Let's say our opponent sprawls, because everybody knows how to sprawl, but he goes square sprawl. When he goes square, uh, square, so hard to say, squared sprawl, the head stays up. The left foot is gonna pull the mat and right knee slide over the corner. And then we get a nice takedown. And obviously for wrestling or jujitsu, they both will work just fine. Um, you want to know how to cut an angle? Uh, quick mention, Habib Nurmagomedov, this is kind of like what he used against Just, Justin Gaethje. He actually just kind of cut a corner and then came up to the waist. So can you show one like that? Let's say you have double leg, guy hits a sprawl, he just cuts the corner and he can come right around there. That's perfect. And Gaethje kind of just hit his hands and knees. So go ahead, try and hit, hit some double legs. Boom, he sprawls, cut the corner. See that? So. You want to know how to hit that knee slide. Let's show a little more detail on the knee slide. Um, you, there's variation as well. Go ahead, shoot it again, Trent. Like sometimes, again, let's show it with the foot where he's gonna, he uses this foot right here. Hold the mat and, and slide that right knee. Go, nice angle. And the guy drops him down to his hip. If it's jujitsu right here, you can run the side control as you drive him down with your shoulders. You can run right in the side control right there. You can secure legs, however you like. All right. Um, other variation could be like, go ahead, Alex, you take a double leg. And then let's say we do a slightly different variation. Let's say the head's starting to get buried and you're gonna pulse uh, your hand. So pulse your left hand. And now go ahead and just do a little knee slide from the hand. See that? So that's like with a little hand assist. Okay, you use that hand as an assistance. Go ahead, Trent. So he sprawls how hard that you drop your hand a little nice little knee slide that in itself is a great technique you guys need to know but that's not the main course of the evening that was just kind of the setup so we don't want to sprawl in a direct line we want to sprawl at an angle so when we shoot a double leg what Trent's gonna do this time instead of sprawling straight back he's gonna crunch up Alex's head right here and his legs are gonna kind of go out that way as he's going right hip right there. See that? Just stay like that. Let it marinate for a little bit. And let's examine. Look at the head. The head is now down. You've got, look at the back over here. Come around here. The spine, just look at how this, if we trace the spine, it's starting to curve. See how it goes from here to there? And so as, as Trent does that, we have a, a simple technique where we kind of Punch him with a little arm in the rib cage as we rotate left hip. No, 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 left hip, left hip, left hip. Wah, 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 wah. I didn't practice enough. Rotate left hip, hand on the head with the right hand. Nice. So let's see. So we got right hand on the head, and now Trent's, we're looking to break the grips free and get a sprawl going. This is kind of like taking you through what we did tonight. All right, beautiful. Next, we got another, you, you go ahead, show that. You hit it. So we just keep going back and forth. So the guy goes doubly. He's gonna sprawl, but he sprawls at an angle. See that? He's putting pressure on the head. Look at Trent's position over here. We got some good lighting right here. Look at the angle of the spine. Imagine if you guys were doing a, a weight lift, like um, maybe like a squat, and then somebody came up and just went like this to your head. You know, see what he's doing? Just crunching up on that head. It's gonna make Trent much less powerful. And then he's gonna rotate left hip in, 
and then pulse on the head and you can circle back, break those grips and get a simple go behind. There you go. There's another little course in this meal that you guys need to swallow up. But the main course is right here. We're gonna talk about this front body lock, the chest wrap. So we're gonna shoot and then we're gonna wrap them up. So he's gonna wrap them up, he's gonna lock his hands. You guys, it's up to you. You guys can lock like this with a palm to palm. You can use an S grip, you can grab your wrist. It really doesn't matter, but you do wanna have a nice strong grip. You are not around the waist. So I know it's kind of maybe dark with the shadowing here and they got the black rash guards, but I want you guys to see, he's not gonna be around the waist right here. He's gonna be up around the chest, okay? Like that, making it hard. You see how you're, he's wrapped up your armpits? Nice. Now in the same way as we wanna crunch the head this way, what Trent's gonna do is he's gonna bring his right foot across as he brings the right foot across, just go ahead and balance on, just stand on your left foot and just boom, put your right foot up and hook it real strong. Nice. Okay, so look where the foot is. Okay, just like so. Now that he keeps it like that, he's got a good position. We've got this technique. It's a variation of sumageshi. I call it the crescent kick sweep in, in one of my videos. If you guys ever want to look up uh, Teach Me Grappling Crescent Kick Sweep, uh, I don't think I do it from a body lock. I think I do it from a guillotine. But either way, it's the same move. Now he's got the body lock or the chest wrap. Trent's gonna fall towards the head, sitting and flipping out. Rotates right back to a sprawl. And now Alex is out of position. The back angle's totally changed. He's bent over, and now Trent can break grips and then get his go behind, okay? Which is what we want. All right, let's see it, Alex. So again, here's the main course. The guy goes here. We're gonna lock up the chest wrap. Usually when you see guys do this, most people think this is a bad move. They think, oh, this is terrible. He's not even def or, uh, dealing with Trent's head. If Trent's head stays up, you'll see a guy get lifted in the air, you know, and then swing his legs out and bomb him. Whoa! And you'll just get destroyed by trying this, right? Well, Alex, Go ahead, before we talk about the lift, let's just show them the technique one more time. We're going tight chest wrap, heavy on the head, and right leg, just pick that right leg up, nice vine, and he's already crushing the head. Now what is this for? You gotta make sure that Trent can't cartwheel and jump sides. So as you're heavy on the head, you're falling towards your right, you're not letting him, and you're throwing him to that side. When you throw him to that side, he's out of position. So, real quick, let me say this, guys. Just roll over to your back real quick. Just lay on your back. We have a drill in jiu-jitsu, guys, where we do this. The guy's legs can be like this. I'm just gonna have one hand on each side. I put my head on the mirror side. I have my head on the same side as my legs. So I jump. Now I'm on this side. I put my head on the mirror side. I jump. Put my head. I jump. Great drill. Because what it teaches you, you never want your head and your legs on the same side. If Trent has a chest wrap around my body, if I jump to here, now Trent holds me, but I'm okay. See this, I can hold on and then I can still win right here. It's hard for Trent now. But if I'm over here, you see that? And then his leg is inside like this, and I can't jump, and he flips me, I end up on this side. And this is the bad side. It's really hard for me to wrestle or grapple from here, and Trent can win the position. Either by coming in this way, or if he's afraid I'm gonna single leg him, he'll just sprawl and circle around my head. See that? And then run around that way. So, go ahead boys, let's see it again. So we wanna understand, shoot it again, and I wanna open up the, the eyes and the mind of some of you. Go ahead, take the shot. See, what Trent's doing is, when he locks, he puts his foot here, he's saying, he's saying, Alex, my bro here, you're never gonna be allowed to put your legs on the opposite side of your head. And then it also, by putting his leg here, he's already falling towards his right heavy. So he can kick him over. Now let's so, show some variation. Let's show some, uh, some uh, mount. Sometimes we can back up rolling. 
Guys, sometimes if you guys have really good rolling capabilities in your game, you guys will hit this technique and back will roll right into the mount. And then it's up to you what you want to do in a wrestling match. We would just keep our lock and then we would pin. But in jujitsu, maybe you'll, you'll crawl your knees up, release the lock, and then, yeah, get a hold of his. Now his elbows are out. Ground and pound comes. All the good submissions. Oh, yeah. He wants to do that to his brother. Go ahead, Alex. Show him a little sumageshi back of roll mount all the way to the mount. Which this isn't really a true sumageshi. This is that crescent, crescent kick. Sweet. But uh, solid way to do it. And then we'll show some more. Uh, oh, so remember, never let the guy. Let's, let's have the guy basically beat us and jump sides in the middle of the move. We don't want to make a mistake and have this happen. So if we put our foot good to start, but through the move, Alex is able to kick up and over that leg, we don't want this. This is not what we want. So again, in this kind of scramble, it's, it's gonna be harder. Alex is solid positioning. He's gonna win this battle, okay? Not always, but most of the time. All right, so we're gonna do it again, but this time Trent's like really good on the, on the foot. So Trent, or Alex tries to jump sides, but Trent's like solid. Kicks that leg over and brings them to that side. Okay? All right. Last. What if we do get lifted? Can this work? You've got to keep a good chest wrap, guys. He get, gets a good lock, squeeze, he lifts. Now immediately use those legs. You see the leg right here, guys? Look. This leg needs to stay on this side, and you're going to need to kind of poke that knee on the inside. No, no, not on the outside. Yeah, on the inside. And you're gonna have to like arch up and squeeze and get heavy on Trent's head. Right now, Trent's got you. So I don't, you don't, you don't want this. I want you to be more. When he lifts you, get, get up here like a like you're trying to straighten up. When he lifts you, posture up and squeeze. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? And then he picks him up and over. So what he did different in in that one is the first time Trent lifted him, he potato sacked over the shoulder too much. If you guys do that, Trent's gonna have no problem stepping back and swinging the legs. You see that? Do that again. Potato sack. Uh, do, just, yeah, potato sack him up. So like, if you, if you get double leg, you chest wrap, and you get lifted like this, guys, your legs aren't gonna be effective. So even if he got his foot there, like see that? Like Trent's just gonna step out of the way and swing the legs. He's got you. So that's not the same thing. What we need is a nice, tight squeeze so when that guy's lifting you he can barely like hip in and, and squeeze so he lifts you off the floor yes and then heavy heavy on the head heavy on the head heavy on the head beautiful that's what i'm talking about right there how was that Trent? was that fun all right you, you do it to him now we'll give the little brother the lift let the bigger brother hit the uh look at this so when he lifts he's hipping in He's hipping in, hipping in, hipping in. Oh, he got you all the way up. It's gonna be done. So let's go. Hips in, and when he lifts, hook that leg and heavy on the head. Heavy on the head. Yeah, see that? You're using it as a defense. Take it through. Nice back of roll. Last thing we gotta show you guys, because I like to show you everything and let the video just keep rolling. Last thing. What if the guy flips over and then tries to trap us? So there's a wrestling pin maneuver, which can be used in jiu-jitsu as well, where a guy will actually go with the flow. And so when Trent does the move, Alex is gonna go with the flow and try to attempt in a wrestling match to pin. See this? So this can be dangerous. If a guy traps your elbows in a wrestling match, he can actually pin you in this position. Kyle Snyder, world champion for the US, got pinned by Sajulayev, also a world champion from Russia. He was pinned in a situation like this. Okay, so what are we gonna do? And also, um, I'll show you real quick. Go ahead and do that to me once. So if, if I'm here and he takes me up and over, and I come to this position, remember, you jujitsu guys, you can hook up the arms, and this is a great way to get submissions as well. So keep that in mind. So not just a wrestling channel like trying to pin, but if you do this in jujitsu, he has moves, like I don't want his legs to start entangling my arms, like that would be bad, he could put me in crucifixes. But if I keep my elbows in, and if I kind of trap him here and lay on his face, see how I'm crushing his face, and he tries to get up, it's hard for him, and when he lets go, you gotta watch out for this kind of maneuver. It's something I really like to do, so keep that in mind. Now, what are we gonna do, boys? 
we got to release. If a guy, if you feel a guy kind of go with the flow to trap you, we're going to throw him and release and then rotate and get out of danger. So you're going to throw the, the, you shoot the double leg. Trent's trying to take you through. You're going to try to trap him with the counter. So when he takes you through, he just releases. And you may not know, you might think like, well, I don't know which one to do. It get trapped for a second, just a split second. So the moment you notice, if you pay attention and you train it, you'll notice Alex will try to trap you. Now get out, exactly, and then wrestle and hustle from there. You could turn this into a lot of different scrambling, but what I don't want you to do is get caught. So I want you to know, if you feel like that guy's trying to hook your elbows, you might want to just get up right away. So and that means you got to have the skills of when you take a guy through and you're feeling like you're going to get trapped, you want to load your toes to your butt, release, and then bridge and rotate back out and get back up to here so you can either win the battle from here or maybe just get back up. I see that a couple times, just one or two more times, and we're all done, man. We, we killed it. This move is... Uh, Dug to death, very nice. Try to trap each other, hit it again. Try to trap each other. First is tight, squeeze, squeeze. Tries to trap you, yeah, that's it. One more. Nice. There's so many possibilities. So either way guys, you guys can use the chest wrap or the front body lock, whichever way you like to call it. You can use this as a way to get out of danger if you're getting double legged. Um, you do, it is a high, high, highly technical thing you're gonna have to work on. Remember, always keep your opponent's legs on the same side of his head. Don't let him cross over and get himself perpendicular. He's gonna be solid. So thank you boys, that was awesome. Um, teach me grappling, share, like, subscribe. Uh, we're doing great right now. We're at like 111,000 subscribers. Um, thank you guys all so much that, that contribute through Patreon. Um, PayPal and then we also have the membership remember also I want to clear something up guys because we've been getting some people coming into patreon We had a couple people get into patreon and they were looking for content guys Patreon is a way for you to donate to the channel. I have the kindness of your heart I kind of explained that on the patreon page The membership the YouTube membership is another thing that's with YouTube and through YouTube we I it gives me the ability to drop content for the level. Right now we're giving it out to the $10 or more, which is purple belt level, purple belt tier and up. So those are the guys that will be able to access some content that isn't shown on this channel. If you guys want, you guys can do that. I, I'm perfectly okay guys, if you want to cancel your, your Patreon, if you want to just cancel it all together and then go back over to YouTube membership. The reason why I don't do straight up YouTube membership is just that they serious, they Patreon is much, much more, um, uh, it's better for me economically in a sense. YouTube membership takes a bigger chunk. They take a pretty large chunk. So it, even though it costs more, I don't get, the money doesn't go to me. Some, a lot of it goes to Google. Um, it gives me the ability to drop content for you guys, especially for you guys that are in the membership. So that's why I'm running both right now. But if you guys want content, you want that extra content, go ahead and ditch Patreon. It's okay. I, I love all your guys' support. Thank you so much. I really try to do this out of the, from the bottom of my heart, try to give you guys everything I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a breakdown of that chest wrap with the uh, little crescent kick sweep. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time with more great stuff.